What's happening guys, this is Jamo2k. Welcome to my player review of the 86 rated second inform Seamus Coleman found in the latest team of the week. The footage comes from foot champs and seasons. Everton fullbacks don't always get much attention on Ultimate Team, but this card has already been making waves. It was actually extinct from the PS4 market for over a day when it was first released, and that's because of a mix of hype, a low max price at 200k, and some crazy stats. The Lunar New Year means there are tons available at the moment, but is he worth it? Make sure to like and sub if you haven't done so already, because I'll be releasing a lot of FIFA related content in the near future. Coleman is one of the best right backs you can find in the game, and he's arguably a bit too good for defence, with plus 80 stats in each of his main attributes. He's one of the most well rounded cards you can find in the Premier League, and the club 80 numbers mean he can play nearly anywhere. He's a 3 star weak foot and skills, as well as the tackler trait. I played him in pretty much every position going in online seasons, and he helped to drag me to the Division 2 title. I decided to try him out in the weekend league, and that was mostly in a midfield role. To be honest, he works well as a box to box midfielder, but I was more impressed when I stuck him at defensive mid to replace Matt Edge who was injured. I was worried at first because of his lack of height at 5'9", and his high high work rates mean that he does have a tendency to get forward at any opportunity, so I was worried that he could get caught out of position. With a 90 rated standing tackle and slide tackle, it turns out I had nothing to worry about. He's like a magnet for the ball although he does feel a little bit slower than his 83 pace suggests. On the subject of negatives, he was actually pretty wasteful despite scoring a few goals over 20 or so games. I remember him scuffing shots and wasting opportunities on a number of occasions in champs and they were like high risk goals that I needed him to score. It's a shame and it stops him from being a complete midfielder, but he is very good at what he does. If you decide to play him at his natural position at right back, he will get forward. His passing range is decent. It allows him to whip balls in from wide he can usually find feet at close range, and that's from the wing or if you play him in central mid. His strength is also pretty notable, and as you can see, he draws fouls easily, and that happened quite a few times. He's actually good at most things, but to be honest, he's not really excellent at anything. When it comes down to it, I'd much prefer Carl Walker at right back for the pace, or someone like Kante in midfield for everything else. Even so, he was definitely a good addition to the side, and he's unlikely to let you down if you need another solid defensive player in your team. Investors cleaned out the market over the first few days, but lightning rounds from last weekend mean that he's pretty affordable at the moment. I'd advise to grab him if you can, as the price is only going to rise over the next week or so. The stats should speak for themselves, but no passing, shooting or dribbling traits mean that he's not an elite level player for me. He's still worth a try, and he's a solid right back, capable of the odd moment of magic. So overall, the rating is 7 out of 10. Alright, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Are you planning on trying out the second inform Coleman? Let me know what you think of me in the comments below, and please make sure to like and sub if you haven't done so already. Do I like mustard? No, <laughs> I actually don't. don't like, well, I can't say I'd, I don't like it because I never tasted it, but I just don't think I'd like it, to be honest. So, no.